What's up guys, welcome to today's dev blog. So, this video is going to be divided up into two. Um, it is another shorter video. Um, for starters, we're going to be talking about the new truck. Um, this will be coming in a pack of two later this month. Um, it'll be our first DLC truck pack. Um, it's still a work in progress, there's no skin on it yet, and there's a bunch of smaller details I still want to work out on it. Uh, it's pretty much our first engine tanker. Um, it can do both well. It has a 2000 GPM pump, 3500 water capacity, a deck gun, three small discharges for hand lines, three large discharges off the rear. There's an intake on every side. And just a fun little truck to mess around with. Um, this will be coming with our second truck in the pack which is um, a min mount tower um, same generic branding and it's going to be similar style similar truck style so look forward to these coming uh, I'll showcase it more uh, Spur Gaming will probably have a video of it soon within the next week or so um, so stay tuned so we're going to hop on over to the AI now Alright guys, so we're back. We're back in editor. Um I'm gonna use our tanker as the example piece here. So I'm starting to branch out the AI to make them start kind of thinking for themselves. Uh if they come across obstacles or something, they'll be able to overcome it. Um so currently basically what happens, um taking a step back here. If for some reason the pathfinding can't get to where it needs to go, um they kind of just stop. And then it keeps retrying from there. Um, soon they'll be able to take a few steps back and kind of try to find a new way to a block location. But um, here's an example of something I'm kind of working on with if we tell this guy to go extinguish the fire. Oh, I gotta make sure I'm assigned to a call. Alright, so he's going to walk over, and this door is going to be locked. He's not going to be able to get in. Um, if it's unlocked, he'll actually open it and go in. Um, however, he's now called this guy over to come over and say, Hey, I need this door forced. And then as soon as this guy comes over and forces the door, he goes and extinguishes the fire. So he'll also call out, um, because this tanker's not assigned to anything, any station right now. Um, He's just saying tanker blank, but it would say like tanker one, charge, discharge five if it's assigned to station one. So we'll go ahead and we'll charge, discharge five for him. Um, they require the same thing that you do when you're on the line. proper pressure. If not, they won't be able to do their job. So eventually there's me pumping AI, um, driver operators. I want these guys fully independent. So you would actually see them standing at the pump panel and dynamically adjusting pressures based on what lines are out at the time. So that's something to look forward to. I'm going to keep on adding more and more things for them to think about as well. Um, like instead of, hey, I can't go through this door. There's no barman available or around me. How about I just go through this window? Stuff like that. Um, it's really just fine tuning in. I can pretty much expand it to however I want. So AI is coming along great. Um, next video, hopefully I'll have them handling propane tanks and all the smaller stuff, fire alarms, and we'll go from there. Once all their basic functionality is done, I plan on adding the RTS mode, which you'll be able to click on this guy and then click on the house if you want a ladder. Click on what window you want a ladder thrown to. Um, click on this guy and then click on the door that you want forced. Um, there's going to be a wide range of ways they can 
handle themselves like for instance we have this little squad menu this is like a debug menu just for now but in the future you'll have like a little command structure so you can lead your squad directly um you're gonna have your options so they can just independently go cruise so if you have an engine company they you'll have the pump operator handling like you'll have a fully independent engine fully independent truck company handling or the other way you could have the bird's eye view with the drone where you click on them and then click on the stuff so i'm making the game how you want to play it um leaving it up to you so um hopefully i'll have these guys in the hands of youtubers as well by the end of the month um so they can start showing off what they're capable of but the cool thing is is with how i designed everything from scratch is they all work across the board with all my emergencies there's no going from emergency to emergency uniquely coding paths or like anything they just they kind of work they they detect the windows universally across the board like heights fires doors everything works all the same so it should be really interesting to see kind of how these guys uh develop so i'm just as excited as you guys are so anyway, thank you. Um, don't forget to check out the Patreon. Um, it helps pay for assets for the game. Don't forget, we have the supporter DLC out. Um, check out the Discord. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave them below. And if you want to help support the game even further, don't forget to leave a Steam review. All right. Thank you. Have a